Welcome back guys, JDog here from Seekerhost. In today's video, we're gonna be going through Bluehost alternatives for hosting your domain or even hosting your WordPress site. So let me give you a little bit of backstory before we get started here. This actually started as a completely different video um, of which I was gonna get a domain and just to show um, everybody how you're able to connect up to Seekerhost. However, what ended up happening in the end, unfortunately, was a terrible turn of events, uh, which I thought I'd just document uh, just to show what pain it can actually be trying to get domains uh, with some other hostings. Now I know you're probably thinking well of course I am biased however um, I'll just show you my experience just so you can see yourself because it wasn't a great one trying to get the hosting. In fact I didn't even manage to get the domain at all in the end just because of the way um, the payment system set up. So before we get into the alternatives let's actually go through um, hosting with Bluehost and my experience. So unfortunately although it did look easy to get the domain at first we are hitting a bit of a problem here which is we just can't get the payment through. Not only that trying to find the actual support wasn't actually that easy obviously once you know you know you know where it is on the page however I'm scrolling I'm going to support pages finding pages like this which sometimes I do find quite infuriating when I just want something um, which should be the easy way of doing it um, or as they advertise anyway you're then looking around for different ways of support so let's just go ahead and press search there for domain and then you start to get all these other answers um, which aren't really answering my question and are a little bit frustrating in the end, it ends up being on the top right here. I wish they had just told me or just had anything on the page just to say, click upstairs for support, maybe a pop-up window would have been handy. I better add no protection on there because the cheeky rascals did try to add that onto my cart without, not without my knowledge, but it just automatically goes on. Um, so I looked at the price and I thought, what? What is going on? Uh, had to take that off. So I thought I'd just let him know. Please try in some other browser once. Now, I don't know why, but this seems to be a reoccurring problem. I had the same thing with GoDaddy where they asked me to use a different browser. And now they're asking me to use my credit card to purchase, which I'm starting to find a little bit questionable. Um, plus, I didn't want to use my credit card for that. I've got a certain card that I use for domains. So this isn't handy at all. Even more frustratingly now, I have to go and search it um, and do the same thing all over on a new browser. So, the world blogger, let's go for it. And I did actually, I thought I was quite lucky when I hit that. That was actually just a random one, which I've actually wanted for quite some time. Um, right, again, now, what I mean about this uh, adding the privacy protection, which is very excessive at almost the exact same price as the domain. So the domain's not exactly on any sort of discount at the moment. Uh, they add privacy and protection, um, just automatically making it almost £17 which would be I don't know something like $25 or something like that just for my domain and to get some privacy yes please remove this from cart perfect so let's go for number two let's go for purchase no ah there we go it's come up finally so let's go ahead and purchase hopefully this time it's going to go through oh my god yet again the the payment just won't go through. Um, I know that I've got enough money in there. I even double checked to make sure. Well, at this point, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be using Bluehost anymore. And um, this has turned to be out quite a lot of trouble. Um, it's not exactly like they have the cheapest domains. So as I've come back to the chat, I realized that the first person I was chatting to has just left. Um, somebody else has joined and apparently I need to give her three or four minutes. I'm assuming it's her. Um, and I've just let them know it didn't work. Perhaps Pratisha might be able to help out a little bit more. So they're telling me some of the billing details are incorrect. However, I know my billing details, they are correct. Now this payment process does seem to be going a little bit longer than normal. So maybe something is processing now. No, <laughs> no, it didn't. It just seems that whatever I try, um, they're either trying to get me to use a different card, which I don't understand why my card I use to buy all my domains and hosting, or to try and tell me that my details aren't correct. So it turns up for sign up, the only credit and PayPal will work at the moment. So if I'm honest, I'm not going to go with Bluehost. Um, and again, I know you're probably thinking, well, I'm biased because I work for Seekerhost, but this was terrible. Um, I mean, like, you want to buy a domain, you want it to be like a quick and easy process. Now, it's not often I spend my hard-earned money, but when I do, I, <laughs> I want my domain. Now, it's not fully unreasonable that maybe they don't accept uh, different payment methods. However, you do expect uh, from larger hosting companies that they would have uh, more options, especially if somebody doesn't actually want to use their credit card, doesn't have a PayPal, or doesn't even have a credit card. A pet peeve of mine is, in fact, when they swap agents, I don't understand. I mean, you know, like it's just I was I wasn't even on there that long. It was probably about ten minutes before they had to switch agents. There was uh, 
Nothing explained and nothing was explained to the next agent, which also frustrates me. Now, like you saw in the video, also um, trying to find the actual support wasn't that easy. Obviously, once you know the chat button is up there, you know. However, before that, you don't know. It's a small button and they, they should have just said, if you need support, use the chat on the top of the page. Either way, now that we've gone through that, let's go through hosting with Seekerhost, which, of course, I find to be a much better alternative. We have really designed this to make this as easy as possible for you without having to have lots of little hiccups in the way. Payments are easy. You can use debit cards or other ways of paying. And we're certainly not going to keep asking you to open it in a different browser. We want everything on one page, on one browser, and we want to be able to pay for it. So now I'll include a uh, part of another video that I did make for which I bought a domain with Seekerhost and I've done it almost like a speed run just to see how quick we can actually do it. So let's compare the two videos and watch the next one of how we can get a domain with Seekerhost. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to click start on here and we're going to be using the search bar. Of course, like I said, I already have my domain um, ready. So I'm just going to search for it and look it up. You do have other alternatives and I'm going to be going for .co.uk. So we're going to add this to cart. We're going to go up to the cart here and then we're going to go to checkout. As you can see, we've got some really good deals on at the moment. You've got like half price. We're going to be doing this for a year, not to auto renew at the moment. We can change it at a later date and our cart has been updated. Now on the registration type, I'm an individual. So I'm going to be clicking individual there. Um, next information, it's got all my information. I may have blurred that out, of course. Uh, so I don't want everybody knowing all of my details. Um, straight to the card. So let's hit next and order now. Sorry, not next. <laughs> and there we go. Let's check the timer. 45 seconds. So now the way we've designed this custom built management dashboard is for anybody from a beginner to an advanced WordPress developer. We want you to actually go on there um, and get the full experience. We want you to be able to use everything, use all the extra features. We don't want to keep stuff hidden. We want to make it easy there and accessible. Not only that, uh, it's great for professionals, people with businesses. You want to have a well running site. You want to grab yourself a good domain. You want to stay on top of your game and you want to have all your analytics. You want to have a business email and stuff like that which are all features that you get here with Seekerhost. Another thing that I just want to go back to is the fact that they just add the privacy protection which again isn't against any rules however I really it should be a choice of yours especially when they're charging three times the amount we do for instance uh, for the same exact service which almost doubled my domain price if I was going to buy it. Now £20 is quite a lot I've got to say for a domain especially compared with Seekerhost we can get it for £4.99 at the moment on a deal for a .com domain. So all in all just under £20. Now I like a good deal and so does everybody else so for that reason head on over to our hosting packages right now you can also get yourself a .com domain for only £4.99 that's under £5 for a domain for a whole entire year. Those are insane prices we've made it easy as possible so check it out see for yourself make an account for free um, you can have a look around our dashboard and if you want to go forward you can then go and get your domain or your hosting. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you again next time on the next video. Bye bye.